CFO gang, it's your boy Jay Tuck. Cowboys haters, real Cowboys fans stand up. And you're now tuned to the Cowboys fans only channel. So if you're new, do your boy a huge favor. Comment, like, subscribe somewhere down there, somewhere down there, somewhere down there. And be sure to turn that notification bell to stay updated with all Dallas Cowboys content. I mean, I appreciate all the support, everyone, for rocking with me. Whether you interact with me on Twitter at JTuck151, whether it's on the YouTube comments, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's on Instagram, Cowboys Nation, man, I appreciate each and every one of y'all, man. Uh, I hope everyone's having a good, great Friday. I know a lot of y'all probably taking off work. You know, getting ready for the holiday. I actually got to work, man. I'm about to go in the trenches, man, and get things done before the holiday weekend, man. But speaking of trenches, right? So I was in here working out, you know, grinding, doing what I do, and it hit me. Brent Urban versus Tyler Biotis, that's going to be a fun matchup at camp. Like, I feel like it's going to be iron, right? Iron sharpens iron type matchup in the trenches, man. And if you think about what um, Ty Smith had to say about Tyler Biotish, he's saying that he is emerging to really be the anchor of the Dallas Cowboys offensive line at that center position. You know, he's saying that he feel like he's been there for years. And I feel like this is when it comes to Tyler Biotish, right? We got so spoiled last year. Last year's draft class, bro, 2020's draft class was just spoiled, right? We were spoiled as Cowboys fans because we got CeeDee Lamb when we were all star-eyed. And granted, CeeDee Lamb was going to be that guy. Then we turn around and got Trayvon Diggs, right? And Trayvon Diggs is going to be that guy. And we forgot about Tyler Biotis, right? Tyler B. Oddish is going to be that guy in Dallas for quite some time. And when we drafted him... Everyone instantly said, oh, we got our Travis Frederick. You know, not saying he is Travis Frederick right now, but kind of coming from Wisconsin, Travis Frederick's going to take Tyler Biotis under the wing as we already saw in his rookie season. Like, he is going to be one of those guys we can trust at the center position for quite a long time. I would expect Tyler Biotis to be a future All-Pro in his Dallas Cowboys career on numerous occasions. And so it's kind of, you know, great to see he's already starting to take that leadership role, because we saw glimpses of it last year. And you know, granted, I like Joe Looney, but I feel like if Joe Looney didn't really go down last year, were we going to get a lot of Tyler B reps last year? And I feel like that if that wasn't the case, we might not seen Tyler B as much last year. But since Joe Looney went down, Tyler B was able to step in. He had a lot of solid reps last year, kind of anchoring, you know, that makeshift offense line. If that's, if that's even what you want to call it, right? You know, with all the all the changes that was going on, all the injuries going on. So you add Tyler Biotish in his second year after getting some exposure, right? You get Ty Smith back, Lyle Connor Collins, uh, you know, Connor Williams and Zach Martin. Great Wall of Dallas 2.0 kind of the remix versions. It's looking up from here, Cowboys fans. I got to be honest with y'all, man. And I'm excited about that, you know, from that standpoint, because having that offensive line is going to fix a lot of problems, especially offensively. And we said this, you know, on the show the other night when we were talking about the secret sauce, right? The sauce, right? Points per game, stop having as many turnovers, being able to run the ball, you know, being efficient in the red zone. Like the offensive line is going to fix a lot of mistakes that we had last year in and Dak Prescott back, right? And so just by doing that, things should be up for the Dallas Cowboys standpoint, man. So it's like, you know, having Tyler B back, letting him emerge and become that guy. If he really takes the reins, I'm feeling very optimistic about our offensive line because you got to think about we also add, added a layer of depth when it comes to like Connor McGovern. You also have Brandon Knight and then you also got Terrence Steele, who even though he kind of played bad, right, he did get damn near a full season under his belt, man. So the offensive line, I feel like we have what it takes to be one of the top offensive lines in the NFL if everyone remains healthy. So shots out to Tyler B, man. But like I said, him, Urban, Bohanna, Ballin, the Oxnard, it's going to be fun to watch, man, because like I said, iron sharpens iron. And I feel what better way to have a veteran like Brent Urban to come in and push Tyler B to the next level 
and get those reps, man, and get physical in the trenches. Speaking of Oxnard, man, so the Oxnard schedule was released. The Dallas Cowboys will be headed to Oxnard. So everyone's been asking me, Tucker, you going to Oxnard? Tucker, you going to Oxnard? Tucker, you going to Oxnard? Yes, I will be at training camp. I will be at training camp on July 30th, which is a Friday. Mike McCarthy's giving them an off day on Friday, so there won't be any camp going on that day. So I'm going to the beach, man. I might go down Rodeo Drive because I've never been to California before, man. So I might just go out and kick it and kind of just visit California and kind of turn it like a vacation for a little bit. But then also on Saturday, um, the following day, I will be there at camp and also Sunday, man. So expect a lot of live reporting going on from camp. Expect me doing a lot of collabs with a lot of other YouTube content creators, man. I'm excited to kind of get out and about and finally meet a lot of these guys who I've been doing shows with and meet them in person. Man. So it's going to be fun from that perspective. But I also want to talk about one thing real quick. Like I said, Micah Parsons, he's going to be a problem. And actually, like DeMarcus Ware, one of my favorite all-time Dallas Cowboys players, came out and spoke about Micah Parsons and said that Micah Parsons kind of reminds him a lot of Brian Urlacher, right? You know, but he can do the coverage of Sean. Like he, he lists like a whole bunch of of linebackers that he sees in Micah Parsons. I'm like, God damn, bro. Like, that really makes Micah Parsons like a creative player. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he could be like Brian Urlacher slash Luke Kickley with a little bit of Sean Lee, like, that's scary, man. So a lot of players are speaking very highly about Micah Parsons. And coming from DeMarcus Ware, who's a Hall of Fame, you know, linebacker himself, he knows what he's talking about. And so, like I said, I'm very hopeful about seeing what Micah Parsons is going to bring to this team as Dallas Cowboys defense specifically. I know a lot of people are like, Tuck, you hate Parsons. Tuck, you hate Parsons. And everyone say that. There's a lot of people that interact with me on Twitter, but you don't subscribe to the channel. So you don't actually watch the content and realize I was one of the guys during the draft who's actually mentioning Micah Parsons when he wasn't being mentioned to the Dallas Cowboys. So don't try to pin me as a Micah Parsons hater, right? A lot of people see the viral video and like, oh, you didn't like the pick. When you look at the viral, the viral video, right? That was only from one angle. You didn't get the draft show interaction. So I was talking on the draft show while I was recording. So you only got one side of the story. But what I said about Micah Parsons was, I felt foolish because I knew he had to be in the conversation as far as an option for the Dallas Cowboys. And y'all was trying to talk me out of like, nah, it's like, they're not going with the off, uh, off ball linebacker. There ain't no way. There ain't no way. And, like, ah. and I was like, well, maybe, maybe y'all right. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's not all about me. I listen to y'all just like y'all listen to me. So I was like, okay, maybe y'all right. And y'all talked me out of that pick, man. So that's where kind of the, y'all saw the reaction. I was like, bro, Micah Parsons, I can't believe it. It was right in front of our face the entire time. But for a lot of people who come interact on Twitter, Subscribe to the damn channel so that way you know what the hell I'm talking about, man. So it's your boy Jay Tuck, man. I hope everyone has a great holiday weekend tonight at 7 p.m. Central. It's Flashback Friday. I know we missed last Friday. It was storming, and I was recording the video, and it, my power cut off like three times in mid-video. I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm going to pinpoint that. So tonight, Flashback Friday, we're going to highlight another Dallas Cowboys great, one of my all-time favorites, man, and talk about that, man. So definitely tune into that, man. It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Hope everyone has a great Friday. Everybody stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged. Go Cowboys. What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. And if you like that content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell to stay updated with all Dallas Cowboys news. Also, go to CowboysFansOnly.com so you can stay dripped in your official CFO gear and use the code CFOGANG to get 10% off all your purchases. How about them Cowboys?